current status of my living room. <laughs> I took off all the pillows and blankets and put them into my bedroom. So it's looking a little chaotic in here. My parents are coming, so I am uninstalling the AC. They're gonna help me out with that. I always uninstall my AC during the winter because it gets quite drafty and cold if I don't. So uh, thankfully my dad's going to assist me with that. The main purpose of their visit though is to bring down all of my holiday decor. Um, so that is what I will be doing today is taking you along with me as I, well over the next couple days as I get this apartment ready for the holidays. I'm ready for it. I'm feeling like ever since the time change happened I have been craving some twinkle light in my life. So I'm basically just waiting around for them to get here, I've also been tidying so that they don't think their daughter is a mess. Shout out to my parents though for just being incredible. They're sacrificing their Saturday morning, early afternoon to help me out with this. It's gonna be a good day, but yeah, I feel just very grateful that they put up with my shit. <laughs> I have decided I'm gonna go get them croissants. It was partly motivated by selfish desires for a croissant, but then I was like, I should get them croissants and they were on board with that. Where's my coat? I've really been loving this coat from um, Aritzia. It's called the Connor coat. It's got like a lot of different ways that you can kind of style it together, close it up top, do one of these, open, close, wrap it. Okay, and I'm gonna bring one of my bagus, my keys, which I now have on this beautiful keychain from Lulu. Lulu, Lulu Lemon. I am back and I ended up stopping at the grocery store and found things I didn't need, but alas. I wanted to pick up this peppermint mocha almond milk coffee creamer for my mom to take home with her because I haven't tried it myself, but I told her that I found these at my local grocery store and she was like, oh, I wanna try that. So got one of these for her to go home with. Also, they had celebration holiday cookies gingerbread and eggnog truffle celebration cookies with a coffee amazing i've never seen them do festive ones like this maybe they have in the past and i just haven't paid attention whenever i see the words for a limited time it's going into my cart this is what i went out for though look at those sexy beasts i think the folks will be excited for that they're apparently hungry Gotta fix a lot. Whatever this is going on here. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of decorating, but I don't think I'm gonna do it all tonight because I am just exhausted. While my parents were here, we collectively unexpectedly ended up cleaning my windows in my living room. I have two big windows in my living room, so we we gave them a good wipe down with water and then um, with some like glass cleaner. It was a whole event. Wasn't prepared to do that, but my windows were desperately needing that. Just thankful for them, like they, they were so helpful today. But I wanna show you some new decor that I got this year. Last year, you may remember if you followed my decorate with me that i had these beautiful ceramic houses from indigo Ugh, styrofoam should be illegal oh my god these are the two that i had last year and i got more this year they look a little bit different so they come in small medium and extra large they of course light up. They look a little bit different. I don't know if you can really tell on camera. This is much more glossy and it's got some uh, brown edges on all the window details. This is matte and doesn't, but I actually think this is going to work out even nicer because they're not matchy matchy. It's going to add depth and I'm going to put them, my, my, the vision that I have in my head is to put them on my sideboard underneath my TV and have like a very modern Christmas village. I also have some trees that I can incorporate into it. And then I also got a matching globe. 
Look at that. Oh my goodness. Isn't that beautiful? My little squishmallows are returning too. These things caused me to go viral on TikTok last year. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. <laughs> Today was really nice though. I feel like in the last couple of years, I really do consider this home. Obviously I live here, but there was like a period where I think I just associated this apartment with school and being in the city. And now it's like truly my home, my, my, my place, my safe place. And uh, when the people that I love most in this world get to hang here and we get to spend time together, it just makes it feel extra cozy. If my brother were here, then the whole crew would have been having a great time, but my brother did the smart thing because window cleaning would have been <laughs> not what he wanted to do today. I have a delivery of coffee and breakfast to fuel me for the rest of today's decorating adventures. I actually got, oh, this is my first. I wasn't expecting that. I forgot the holiday cups are out. <laughs> I got a grande sugar cookie oat latte with half the sweetener. I also got breakfast, which is a Beyond breakfast sandwich with egg and cheese. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> oh wait, I should taste test this before I leave you. Ooh, ooh, whoo, whoa. I'm glad I got it half sweet because I feel like it would be a little too much otherwise, but that is, mm. I'm gonna get started with figuring out the ribbon situation, but a tip that my mom found online is to put the tree on cardboard if you still wanna move it around. So it makes it easier to just like pull it out, pull it back. So I'm doing this for the decorating portion so that I can easily wrap the ribbon around the tree and decorate it. And then when I'm done, I'll just push it back. I might keep the cardboard underneath or I could take it out. The tree skirt would cover it. Turn on Christmas tree. I'm going to do all of these. I don't know if that's gonna be excessive. I mean, I've done this a lot in the past, very neutral with white pearls, but I feel like this goes. Wish me luck, folks. I think I'm gonna take off my chapatos and get this show on the road. I think I finally finished the ribbon beading portion of the decorating. I do have to do a little bit of tweaks here and there. It's not perfect, but a lot is going to be disguised once the ornaments go up. So that's what I'm banking on. It's kind of nice having that bit of red in there this year. I do feel though like I need to take like a five minute break because that took a lot longer than I expected it to. from watching Seinfeld to listening to top 100 hits. Nothing says Merry Christmas quite like Doja Cat, right? I just personally find decorating to be such a quaint activity. I love all the ornaments I've collected over the years. It's great to like look at them and see, you know, or remember when I got them, what drew me to them. I didn't buy, well, I have a couple ornaments I think on the way, but I haven't really added too much. Like, look at this one. It's a letter dated to Santa in 2016, which is the year that I moved into this apartment. That's gonna be a hard one to ever get rid of. <laughs> what a ton of work. Look at that. This tail. The sun is already setting and it's like three o'clock. Anyways, I got a few tidbits to add to the decor. On my family tree back home, we have a little Grinch ornament that's all felt and the heart, if you press it, it lights up and it's such a distinct ornament in my brain that I figured, you know, I need my own Grinch ornament for my tree. And uh, this one, this one's fun. I also got batteries for all of my white ceramic houses. Picked up this beautiful garland from Indigo. I love the berries. The blue touch is so different. Usually 
you get a red, but I think this is stunning. And again, the plan is to add some greenery to this scene right here. I just feel like it needs a little something something. The last thing that I got, which isn't really Christmas decor, I'm actually gonna be using it all winter. I had actually considered getting these during Halloween, and I should have, because they would have come in handy. They're battery operated candles, it's a set of five. What I like about them is I can put them on a timer so I don't have to manually turn them on every day. They will turn on at the same time and then I think they go on for five hours. But these I think I'm gonna put by my windowsill because I don't really have any lights there. I just feel like it'd be really cozy to add these. I'll have the ones that I got linked in the description box below as well as links to everything that I can that I showcase in today's video. I think that's really pretty. Yeah. I think I'm done decorating now. I'm very happy to have it all up. I feel really excited too for Vlogmas vlogs. I'm gonna be vlogging um, every week leading up to December 25th. So you should expect like four consecutive weeks of vlogs, which should be exciting. If there's anything in particular you wanna see me do in those vlogs, let me know. I think my favorite part is definitely the houses underneath the TV. It's just a beautiful visual while I'm watching my shows and the candles. Big, big W. I just think they add a lot of warmth and in inviting energy into my living room for the holidays and then also post holidays. I feel like candles, battery operated candles are always a, always a hit. I always have a lot of fun bringing you guys along with me as I, as I transition to holiday mode. Um, it's a really special time of year where I think we always wanna connect with people in our personal lives and being able to kind of just share it with all of you feels like I'm connecting beyond just my my personal bubble but also with you wherever you are in the world so I hope we can spend some more time together this season like the video if you enjoyed it hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss those vlogs as they come up I'd love to know in the comment section below when do you decorate for the holidays uh, I know some people go super early, some people wait until December. Whatever floats your boat, I'm just curious. And I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye everyone. We'll end it on a cute ornament note. Look at that. Look at him.